I've, I've never been in a situation like this before. So even though we've been in lockdown for a month, it still doesn't feel quite real. Wollongong is basically shut down for now. And even though big businesses have stopped running, seeing their everyday differences, like empty parks and playgrounds, is quite sad to see. Whilst this has affected countless people financially, the biggest issue for me has been the shutdown of my local climbing gym, Dynamite. Over the past two years, I've got very deeply into the sport of bouldering, so much so that my physical health, mental health and social life are pretty much dependent on going to the climbing gym and that's just been taken away, with no indication of it being opened again anytime soon. Due to this, I've had to distract myself indoors. I live in a big share house with my friends, which I'm very fortunate for, and we've been playing cards and table tennis a lot more. Whilst it's fun, I think everyone's kind of doing it to distract ourselves from ourselves, even if it's just for an hour a day. It's just started getting cold enough to go outdoor bouldering again. And whilst it does work as a form of escapism, I really do miss the camaraderie of bouldering with my friends. It's not even just climbing with them. I miss the feeling of being in the gym with like-minded people. I miss the shitty couches with exposed springs that you can't sit down on too quickly. I just miss the feeling, like I'm somewhere else for a few hours. Being part of this Erodian world where no one cares about anything except not falling off a wall. In retrospect though, it really isn't that bad. I think lockdown has been good for developing some healthier habits that I can bring back into normal life whenever that starts up again. I've noticed I really have been appreciating the smaller things that make my day. We've just started lighting the fire most nights and the simplicity of making a fire, enjoying the company I have around me has really been nice. Whilst it has been hard, 
lockdown has made me appreciate my friends and family so much more, making us closer to the point I don't think we'd be if lockdown didn't happen. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to Wollongong opening back up again, but at the same time, I'm sure many people, like myself, will come out better from this than they went in.